Hi everyone, my name is Kareem Leslie and I currently serve as the Student Government Association President for the University of West Georgia. Thank you for joining us for a mask conversation today with our new Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Preston. Dr. Preston is gonna speak with us about this upcoming semester and what we can expect. He's been a longtime resident of Carroll County and been a part of the USG system for 26 years. Um, and he decided to join us in December out west um, to lead an amazing faculty to help us excel in the future. Um, Dr. Preston, thank you for being with us here today. Thank you, Kareem. Really excited to be with you and talking today about all of the opportunities coming up this upcoming semester. It's gonna be a great semester. Hope you had a great holiday and were able to recharge. I know for myself, it's always a time to reflect at the end of the year. And the great thing about academics is that we've got the opportunity to restart at the, uh, the beginning of every semester. So really excited to be talking with you today about all the great things that are, that are coming up here. Thank you. So I know that uh, you have some questions for me, but before we get to that, I'd like to ask you the first question. What's the one thing that you're most looking forward to in spring 2021? I would say it's been a long four and a half years. So for me, graduating this May. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Absolutely. Congratulations. Thank I know you. you're looking forward to Thank that. You. Thank you. Can you speak to how this upcoming semester will help advance the strategic goals of UWG? Absolutely. So as you mentioned, my family and I have been in the area for quite a while. One of the things that really attracted me to West Georgia was the tremendous assets, both physical, academic, and personnel that we have at the university. So this semester, we're gonna be leveraging those more and more, and really leaning into those three strategic pillars of placemaking, relevance, and competitiveness. Each of our academic programs, that means something different for them. But we'll be focusing on really highlighting and telling the story of each of our academic programs, emphasizing their distinctiveness, what makes coming to University of West Georgia and studying a particular discipline really attractive to students and what's gonna be driving students to be coming here more and more. So you'll see an emphasis in that. As far as the, the relevance, we'll be doing a great job in telling the stories of our current students and the successes that they have, both inside and outside of the classroom, and also for our alumni, launching their careers and doing well in their chosen professions and then them reaching back and helping those that are coming alongside them afterwards. So telling those stories, letting people know more and more people what a great place the University of West Georgia is, and then attracting more of those students to come here. So to speak of the placemaking side, right, we've got great facilities, the building that we're in, all around campuses, and being able to leverage those more and more to the benefit of the students. It always starts with students, and that's why I'm happy to be talking with you here today, because everything we do, starts and ends with the student experience, making more students more successful. How will the faculty and staff work this semester to achieve the goals of the strategic pillars and the USG um, strategic imperatives? Absolutely, so let's start with those strategic imperatives, right? The University System of Georgia as a R3 comprehensive within the USG, we have a, a charge to help fulfill that creating a more educated Georgia and creating economic impact and advancing businesses and research and opportunity and knowledge. So University of West Georgia is feeding into those strategic imperatives of the system as a whole. So what does that look like in this upcoming semester? We're gonna to continue to create experiential opportunities both inside and outside of the classroom for students. So curricular and co-curricular and helping more students have experiential opportunities such as launching their careers, connecting them with local businesses through practicum or through internships, inviting speakers to come and talk, and really maintain that excellence in the classroom through innovation and research. So the faculty applying their research and bringing that into the classroom, helping more students maintain that currency and that cutting edge knowledge, and advancing the excellence that we provide in the classroom. And a big part of that is making sure that we are strategically using our time and the resources that we have to make sure, back to that more students, more successful, that we've got a really strong return on investment for everything that we're doing. You mentioned return on investment ROI. Can you speak a little bit more about that? Absolutely. 
we need to make sure that every hour and every dollar that we're investing, we're, we're stewards of these resources of the university system and the people of Georgia. And so we need to make sure that we're getting the best results possible for every hour that we're spending in the classroom, every dollar that we're spending on activities and events, and, and really making sure that we're doing the absolute most and continuously improving. So in the last question, we talked about the strategic comparatives of the USG. The University System of Georgia also asks all of the institutions to do continuous improvement. So how can we always be getting better? And looking at how we're utilizing resources is a key part of that. So we've got some areas that are doing excellent and fantastic work, and some where we need to make some improvements. I'll give a few examples of this. We have some areas in academics where enrollment has declined or has stagnated. So back to the earlier point of competitiveness and differentiating and making our programs uh, very attractive to students as a destination. How can we better tell that story? How can we invest in these programs and help them increase enrollment, drive new students, and attract new students into them? Another example is centers and institutes. We have some centers that are doing great, but we need to leverage them and resource them appropriately so that they can excel and really live out to their potential. This is really important on a number of fronts because this is where innovation happens. It's also where students at the undergraduate and graduate level can become engaged in research alongside faculty. So we need to make sure that our centers and our institutes are uh, firing on all cylinders and, and really excelling. And the third area that I think we can do an improvement in is in some of our facilities. Many of our spaces are fantastic, but some need to be improved, not only for ADA compliance and making sure that they're inviting to students and make sure that uh, these spaces are current and really welcoming students and maximizing their learning experience. How are faculty investing their time in advancing UWG? So faculty, as an R3 comprehensive university within the USG, our primary mission is on teaching excellence and making sure that that classroom experience for students is world class. Beyond teaching, faculty also spend a considerable amount of time in research and scholarship as well as in service, both within the institution and also within their disciplines nationally and internationally. So it's probably helpful to think of faculty time and workload in 10 units, five in spring and five in fall, where they're spending, if they're on a typical load of uh, three classes in, the, in, in each semester, 60% of their time is going to be dedicated to their teaching. Another 30% typically in their research, again, bringing in that currency and making sure that their teaching is world class and most current. And then also that last bit, about 10% in service. Now, we do have a flexible approach to this. So some faculty emphasize teaching and will teach more courses and be in the classroom serving in that way. Other faculty will be spending more time on research and perhaps less time in the classroom depending on year to year, how things go, and they can emphasize different things to honor the diversity of our faculty and be flexible and making sure that faculty are serving in all of these different areas. Since scholarship and creative activity is something that is important to keep UWG classes relevant, what is UWG doing to ensure successes in this area? That's a great question. And I think it speaks back to that relevance and that competitiveness in our strategic imperatives. We want to make sure that students always have the most cutting edge, excellent experience in the classroom. In order to do that, the University of West Georgia invests significantly in faculty, not only in labs and equipment and graduate assistance and travel and professional development, but back to that earlier discussion we had on the personnel and the uh, workload and the time commitment that faculty are making to scholarship and creative activity. If we take the average of 30% of their time and apply that, the university is making a $14 million investment in faculty through their time to pursue their scholarship and then bring that back into the classroom. Again, though, beyond the time commitment that we're making through faculty, we're also investing in innovations in professional development, travel, scholarship, equipment, and making sure that faculty are able to have active and very uh, creative and excellent scholarship portfolios, and then bringing that back into the classroom to benefit the students. Last question. You mentioned a lot about how you want this semester to be engaging for students. What do you believe um, this semester will look like? 
Well, this is going to be a great semester in the life of the University of West Georgia. We have great opportunities planned. We've got thousands of classes that we're offering, both online and face-to-face, -to, -face, to meet different needs of different students. We also have over 650 events planned on campus that students can engage in. Of course, these are going to be safe, socially distanced, and follow best practices. But we want to make sure that this semester coming up is an exciting one for students where they've got a fantastic experience and they can really dive in and learn both inside and outside of the classroom. Well, thank you again, Dr. Preston, for sharing your thoughts on what this semester should look like. Um, we are so excited to have you here as a wolf at UWG. Um, thank you all for joining us for this virtual conversation with Dr. Preston. Go West, go Wolves. Thank you.